Do you want to learn about crypto? Are you afraid of missing the next big wave? Are you struggling to understand the technology? Do you lack the time to do all the research yourself? Maybe I can help. Welcome to my channel, Crypto Rambo. My name is Desiree. This video might come off to some people as a joke or a waste of time, but I'm doing it in honor of a very good friend of mine who has been trying to learn about crypto for months and has asked me on numerous occasions how everything works. The truth is, if you don't have the time, I can't really help. You have to put the time in. However, it's okay if you miss the next big thing. It's okay if you don't understand the technology. And it's okay if it takes you some time to learn what you need to learn. So I'm going to give you some practical tips on how to learn about cryptocurrencies. The first thing I would do is simply type in a search bar, what is cryptocurrencies or how do they work? Eventually, you will learn about blockchain. And then you could type something in, what is blockchain, how does it work? You could read articles or you could watch videos. And there are varying types. There are some that are really detailed. There are some that are very simple. You can start at the level that you are comfortable with. For this kind of information on the technology, I would recommend watching those videos, reading those articles, and then going on certain places such as reddit.com. There are lots of subreddits that talk about the technology or talk about specific coins. You can go and you can ask questions. You can also go on forums such as Bitcoin Talk. I will leave links to all of these in descriptions. I made two videos, one called What is Cryptography and one called Blockchain Explained that goes into some details about the technology. One thing to understand is that every cryptocurrency is different. So you will get a general understanding of what decentralization on the blockchain means. If that doesn't mean anything to you, that's okay. Cause you will go, you will type these things in and you will find out that information very quickly. Some other places I would recommend going to are coinmarketcap.com. It gives you the top 100 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization there are i think almost 3,000, if not more cryptocurrencies so this is just telling you the most popular ones they are popular for a reason but they are also missing out some newer cryptocurrencies that are out there or that just started and so you will see the name you will see the symbol you'll understand that for each cryptocurrency it has its own acronym so bitcoin is btc ethereum is eth it gives you that information it gives you the market cap that's the total amount of money that's held within the cryptocurrency it gives you the price against the us dollar it gives you the volume for the past 24 hours that's the trading volumes that's people buying and selling the cryptocurrencies on exchanges and it gives you the 24 hour percentage change to give you an idea of the price is moving up or down in a short in the short term and then it also gives you a price graph which gives you the seven day view of the price movement and the price movement gives you an idea of how the market that means people interested in the cryptocurrency the buyers and sellers how they feel about the cryptocurrency over time and what's happening due to sentiment things with the technology maybe news about regulation stuff like that another app that i really like to use that is similar to this is coin stats it's a bit similar to coin market cap except it gives you pretty much every cryptocurrency that exists out there so let's have a look at these oh look i had to go and find my favorite coin particle it moved up a bit recently coinstats also ranks cryptocurrencies by their market cap and it gives you the price in usd and it gives you the 24 hour percent change for both coin market cap and coinstats you can click on a cryptocurrency and find out more information it gives you charts gives you website information so you can find out what it's all about and you can click on those links in order to find out more about that specific cryptocurrency one thing to keep in mind which you might not know yet is that each cryptocurrency has its own purpose so just looking at the cryptocurrency doesn't tell you much about the underlying technology and you would have to click those links to find out more information for each you can also go on youtube and find interviews where people who are associated with that particular cryptocurrency you're interested in talk about the project maybe giving some more detail giving its background what its mission is how it's been doing, what the roadmap is for the future, etc. Something else I would use YouTube for is for tutorials on how to use things like exchanges, where to go and buy Bitcoin, how to use Coinbase, which I don't really recommend, or Gemini, or Changely, or Bittrex. You can find out a lot of information where you get visual walkthroughs through YouTube. Something else too that is pretty big in crypto is sort of the atmosphere and the advocacy, and you'll see the culture surrounding cryptocurrencies. I think you can find that particularly on places like Reddit and on forums such as BitcoinTalk.org. There's another Another aspect of crypto which is all the traders and that too you can find information anywhere you can just search 
use a search engine you can find articles you can watch videos you can sign up for courses that's up to you if you want to do that you can talk to people also so trading is another part of the crypto space and people interested in either investing in new technology or making money off of the boom that's occurring in crypto if you really really want to understand a project especially if you're thinking of investing i always recommend going to the source and I personally have done this for very few cryptocurrencies, but you can go and read their white papers on their websites and find out more information. If you don't understand the technology, you might not want to do that. You might just want to go and watch the interview of someone at the project talking about it, and you can understand what the technology can do instead of really understanding exactly how it works. Another thing you can do is go to meetups. There are crypto meetups, especially in major cities that you can go to. You can go to meetup.com and you can search online and you'll find that information also pretty quickly. And I think that's a great way to find a community if you're into that kind of thing, an in-person community too. A lot of people care about decentralization. Some people care about making lots of money and some people care about building technology that's really cool and screws with their brains because of the challenge that it presents to them. And then something else I thought about recently was there are institutions nowadays that are offering some kind of coursework on cryptocurrency. So this is more for the people who are interested in getting into the industry from the technological side. I know that Ethereum recently had some talks at a major Ivy League university. So you can go and see those kinds of conferences or places to learn or hackathons also. So that's another way. That's all I could really think of on the top of my head. But if you're interested in this space, don't be scared. Don't be alarmed. I know people who are already in here are like, what is she talking about? But I know people who are sort of intimidated by the crypto space and don't be you know you just start small and then learn and ask questions and i'm sure people will be happy to respond because nobody knows anything when they're born just remember that everybody starts off not knowing anything about the world and then they learn over time so keep that in mind anyway thank you for watching i hope that was useful i hope if you're interested in this space you keep going and you keep learning more and you get pretty enthusiastic about it just like me okay bye guys i'll talk to you soon